Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Brian Navachoke Cabello, and I am a realtor associate with Keller Williams Realty in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I'm also the host of The Local Historian. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the mural dedicated to Herbert Herb Thomas and the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Let's get started. Herbert Thomas, or Herb for short, was born and raised in Elevia, North Carolina, only 10 miles away from Sanford, North Carolina, where the mural is located. Now, Herb had a humble beginning, working as a farmer and operating a sawmill at times, until one day, his interest turned over into auto racing. And from there on out, he ended up becoming responsible for 39 out of the 80 victories that the fabulous Hudson Hornet has to its name. Now, the story of the fabulous Hudson Hornet doesn't start with any of its drivers. Instead, it starts with its birthplace of Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. The fabulous Hudson Hornet was created by the Hudson Motor Company, specifically manufacturing these vehicles from 1951 up until 1954 under the Hudson brand name. However, later the company merged with Nash Kelvinator to create the American Motor Corporation, and they continued to manufacture the Hudson Hornet from 1955 until 1957. All in all, the Hudson Hornet had a production life of seven years, yet in that short time frame, the Hudson Hornet was still able to cement itself into American racing history. The key reasoning behind its fame is due in part to the racers that drove these beasts into victory. During the early years of NASCAR, specifically the NASCAR Premier Series, the fabulous Hudson Hornet was responsible for taking home three titles from 1952 up until 1954. From those three titles, Herb Thomas himself was responsible for two of them. The adventurous tale of the fabulous Hudson Hornet is truly amazing. Coming from the heart of Detroit, the auto manufacturer strongly believed in the motto, win on Sundays, sell on Mondays. The marketing campaign was truly first of its kind. Sadly, however, this was not enough for the auto manufacturer to survive. And as stated previously, in 1954, the Hudson Motor Car Company merged with Nash Kelvinator to create the American Motor Corporation, where they continued to manufacture the Hudson Hornet all the way up until 1957. Luckily, however, the tragic tale for the fabulous Hudson Hornet did not come to a swift end as many believe. Instead, in 2006, the immensely popular Cars movie came out, and in that movie, we got to see the return of the fabulous Hudson Hornet, also known in the movie as Doc Hudson. This amazing mural depicting some of America's great racing history was created by the great Scott Nurkin from The Mural Shop, located in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Thank you, Scott. I'd also like to give recognition to Central Carolina Enterprise Park for sponsoring this mural. Thank you, guys. I've been your host, Brian Navachuki Cabello, realtor associated with Keller Williams Realty in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and host of The Local Historian. See you guys next time.